Hi everyone! Um, this is the infamous, infamous Amma. Say hi. Hi. Oh my god. Um, as you all know, I talk about her in my Instagram posts and when we talk about cuisine because my food and culinary experiences come from my Amma. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to talk a little bit and have a conversation. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What? <laughs> okay, anyways. Where did your culinary and food experiences start? Like, when did you start with food? I'm watching what mom, my mom is cooking. Okay. Yeah. And also my grandmother's cooking. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm helping them in the kitchen. That's how I learned okay. how to cook. They grew up in the farm in Korea. Mm -hmm. We had a big rice field and uh, orchard. Uh, we had all kinds of uh, vegetables. Uh, all the fruits, like lettuce, cucumber, hot peppers, zucchini, what else is there? Everything. Um, uh, pumpkins, what else is there? And then also uh, strawberries, peaches, everything. persimmons, what else is there? Basically everything. Um, Watermelons, uh, grapes. Mm, basically, we pick fresh vegetable from the farm um, and eat right there. Is everything is fresh. Cool. So then, I guess like when did you start cooking like for yourself? Myself, when I went to college in Seoul, Korea mm. uh, because I am leaving myself um, you know uh, from you know far from my family about four or five hours of driving mm -hmm. so obviously I had to cook for myself at the same time uh, there are a lot of street food and the, the food in restaurants is really reasonable and and good food I can get any food <laughs> anytime uh, in the market or even expensive restaurant all day anytime all night uh -huh. so uh, I mean it, it is different from uh, eating outside or you cook yourself eat is totally different uh, for the health, uh, obviously taste, but I had to cook myself when I was in college. Mm. Nice. You talked about the difference between like cooking yourself and restaurants, like mm -hmm. in Korea even, like what, like how do you become a chef in Korea? Like, do you know, like what does it take, like what does it take for someone to open, like be a cook? Have you thought about that? Do you know that? Because like here, you know how they, they have to like, go to culinary school, but you were saying something about how moms okay, would just cook lunch. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I see. The people uh, doing restaurant business that I know in Korea, they really didn't go to culinary school. <laughs> it's funny, really? I never thought about that. Not really. They really didn't go to any school. They just to uh, you know, learn from their uh, mother, grandmother, and they have all their uh, family recipe and unique and like a homemade, homemade fresh cook. People love it and people tell them you should open restaurant <laughs> and they, this is really good food. That's how people, you know, start opening the food, you know, food what do you call it? restaurant restaurant we really don't call restaurant we call really food Xinjiang. food um maybe restaurant maybe restaurant called yeah. Xinjiang, no? Xinjiang. Xinjiang. yeah yeah that's what because i feel like even here korean people like there's some good chefs that I, like we know but like mm. i feel like a lot of them are business people too right mm -hmm. 
but the Korean people, as I think about that, they are really, you know, have own recipe. Mm. They don't need to go to school. <laughs> they really make everything at home. Uh, any any pepper, everything at home. Uh, nowadays, you know, they made by some factory because the real Korean pe people uh, spend a lot of time to make a real Korean, you know, food or ingredients. Sometimes it takes a week or a month. Uh, but they they have a specialty. They their food is really good. They open, people love it. Uh, people, you know, mouth to mouth. No advertising. Just the people, come. just to go there and uh, eat and love it. Mm. Yeah, um, we were actually talking about the difference between like American food. Did you see the YouTube video I sent you? Uh, Did you see? Okay, I sent my mom a YouTube video recently from like BuzzFeed or something about like what someone in Korea eats for a week versus like what someone in the United States eats and they were both younger people. And the person eating in Korea just had so much better looking food. Like they had just like real solid food while the guy in like the United States was eating like chips and mm -hmm. crackers and all this stuff. What's like, do you want to talk about the biggest differences that you saw when you started coming over? And like, is there anything about just like Korean food that you like miss? When I came here, I stayed with your grandma's, um, grandma's house. Obviously she cooked, but her food was mm, no, Spices, no, <laughs> um, what do you call it? Not too many mixed ingredients. Yeah. Just a, uh, what do you call it? No flavor, <laughs> no taste. Yeah. Like a, um, obviously, her background, you know, where she grew up is first of all, you know, it's white people. She grew up, you know, she's white, so, you know, her cook is no flavor yeah um chicken breast looks white <laughs> you have to you know get some salt and pepper compared to my korean food already looks good red green even sauce is flavor garlic we put a lot of flavor we always put garlic, ginger, soy sauce, or, or green pepper, or yellow, uh, orange bell pepper. We look at oh, color is. too. Yeah. More vegetable, uh, more ingredient, more flavor. Yeah. So, obviously, you know, it's a culture difference. It's, it's white people makes white food. Food is even white. Take it rest <laughs> white. Pork chop, no flavor, no color. <laughs> yeah. With, with uh, potato. Uh, potato. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans. Always yeah, a potato. Always green beans. <laughs> green yeah. beans. What is this? Salad. <laughs> yeah, 